Hey YouTube, it's me again. Um, recording on my Aquion Evolution 8 gallon nano reef. Um, showing you progress. Uh, added a couple frags and stuff to it. Um, everything's doing great in here. It's growing and uh, I've seen some growth on a lot of uh, the SPS corals which was really which is really cool. Um, everything my water parameters are great I did a test on them the other day and uh, my calcium is at 440 uh, alkalinity is 8.4 magnesiums right around 1250 uh, phosphates are zero nitrates are zero um, like I said I continue to do two water changes a week wash out my filter floss twice a week and um, clean out my protein skimmer bottle uh, usually once every two weeks because I mean it lately it hasn't been filling up as much for some reason but everything's doing good um, I did pick up some macro alle allergy algae um, to put in uh, the tank some red titan uh, got it at my local fish store you can see I glued it to a few frag plugs which they tell you to glue either to rock or whatever you know frag frag plugs are fine too um, and some of those I'm gonna put a couple of those pieces in there and then I'm gonna put the others in my refugee and get them growing really nice so I haven't really decided where but I have it next to my tank um, I just glued those down so I'm gonna let them dry before I put them in here uh, the additions are, um, I added a sea whip, which you can see is doing really good. Another thing I'd like to point out is, uh, if you look, I'll try to finagle my camera back there. On that mystic sunset, the uh, growth on it, there it goes to focus in right where the red headed goby is is amazing because I actually fragged those and I did the video and I told you guys I fragged them and it was all clean edges now it's going down and uh, encrusting on the side and it's going towards the towards the rock and it looks like it's going to do really good as uh, as this one does too as well I'm going to see if I can't zoom in on it give you guys a better look you can still see kind of the clean edge, but everything else is kind of coming down and encrusting on it. Same thing goes with uh, the meteor shower. You can see it's coming off. It was a clean frag, and there wasn't anything on the plug, and now it's actually encrusting onto the plug. So that's pretty cool. Um, clam, both clams are doing great. Uh, the other one's over here doing great same thing goes with this uh, meteor shower it's encrusting onto the plug it right now and it's looking good still haven't gotten that poker started color up yet I might need to move it up some I haven't had a chance um, thinking about doing that soon on my cans that I've showed you before my rastas are open um, there's some small ones that just started sprouting on the side of them and there's one on the back side and uh, purple hornets were out, but my cleaner shrimp just went over them, so it's probably why they're back down. Got some more SPS in here. Um, honestly, I forgot the name of that one, but it's doing great. It's a bright, bright blue. I want to say it's some sort of uh, tort, but I could be wrong. Um, the one kind of sticking out that's kind of brown right now was just frag, but that is a... Um, Acropora Nana and um, this one I had uh, and it's doing good that's also an Acropora Nana my bird's nest is doing good um, let's see the one right in front of that's a blue tort uh, it lost some color from uh, fragging but it's coming back I can it's really hard to tell with this camera but it's it's coming back I got, uh, you can see my Sunset Monopora there, there's one down there, that one right there, if you look behind, 
the frog spawn. That is an incredible hawk monopora. Um, Superman is encrusting as well. It's going down onto the plug. When I bought it, it wasn't, you could see the plug, and now it's totally gone. So it's doing well too. Um, what else did I put in? Oh, the chalice. If you go back and watch my video of the, uh, a while back when I put this in, uh, you could see how much growth I've gotten out of it. Um, it's doing great. Uh, I don't know what kind it is. It's just got little yellow eyes. So, but it's doing good too. Uh, purple bonsai is encrusting as well. It's kind of hard to get. Well, you can see it there. It's it's coming down off of the frag itself onto the glue that I glued it onto the rock. I've read about them. They like to encrust onto the surface before they start growing up. So uh, eventually it'll start growing up. But all the fish are doing well. It's my Yashi. He said it, him and his pistol shrimp friend are always at work. Doing great. That's a good picture of him right there. Cleaner shrimp, one of my cleaner shrimp has eggs in her. Um, I don't know whether or not one's a male or one's a female, and I don't personally know how to tell. So, I did put a, this was out of a, my other tank. It fell off when I was cleaning it. A piece of uh, GSP, Green Star Polyp. Um, it's, it was actually kind of a, dead piece and I was like oh, I'll put it in here and see what happens and it's actually coming back so it's a good thing little Duncan head um, it comes out at nighttime more than it does I, I really need to put it up under that rock but I'm afraid that I won't be able to feed it um, this was another frag that I fragged off of a colony it's that blasto um, it's different than the other one different than that one um, it's doing good too it looks be it looked better um, carefully. It's got a bunch of heads on it for the size. That piece of baby is doing great. Still growing. There's my red headed or green banded goby, right down there. Other than that, everything's doing good. My my sexy shrimp have started to move around now, and they're like you know kind of exploring the tank. There's one right there. You can see its tail wagging, kinda. You can see its eyeballs. That was a crappy shot. But there's one behind that behind that A can. I'm trying to pull it, but you can't see it. And I'm sure the other one's hiding in there somewhere. And the other there's a bunch of them that are just that just hang around and do their deal. I've got four of them in here and they all kind of disbarred and now they're doing their own thing. Which is kind of cool. So we can't find the other one. That I just seen. There was, I had another one that was out. And I was able to. Oh. Wait, no. That's not it. I thought it was up underneath that. Uh, GSP. But it's not. But yep. Doing good. Everything is uh, living. Well there you can see. Oh there is the other one. See it right there. And then the other one's back there by the blaster. You can barely see it if you look at the sh cleaner shrimp tentacles and then look right down. He's right there. But other than that, uh, I did add a piece of equipment. I was having problems keeping the temperature in the 78, mid, you know, 78.5, 74, or 78.4 range. Um, it's a coral they're smart fans. I'll try to. I don't know how good that is. Um, it comes with a sensor, and this is a temperature probe. It's meant to go inside of a um, cabinet where sump's located, face down. Basically, the mount is just an erector set. Um, that I bought at Lowe's. They sell these pieces separate. And I just kind of 
put it together and velcroed it on so you can see works great the problem is is that my heater isn't strong enough to keep up with the fan so the fan cools it so what I'm going to do is I'm building a circuit that I'm going to be able to plug my fan and my uh, um, heater into and uh, to make you know make sure that the temperature stays exactly where I want it to so the fan will kick on if it gets too hot I live in Florida this is on an ex it's sitting on an exterior wall so I know it gets warmer than if it was on an interior wall um, trying to plug this in here so you guys can see how much air movement this thing I mean I'll show you how fast it'll drop temperature I mean it's very picked it up when I'm done with the video not a big deal hold on I'm gonna put you down for a second I'll give you a cool view though you can look down in my fish tank all right here we go here we'll do a kind of a look down view although the tur the water my that circulation pump or the maxi jet 400 that I have running uh, the flow it's pretty crazy and it pushes a lot of water around but you get the idea it looks pretty cool from the top all right I'm gonna only keep you on for a couple more minutes but I have the fan running see I even put this I cut this up this plate because this is what it comes with stock and it won't work but but it'll drop the temperature very quick but I appreciate you watching the video and uh, leave comments and uh, thank you YouTube